Problem number 243 Problem number 244 Problem number 243 A homogeneous rod of constant cross-section is attached to unyielding supports. When we said homogeneous, it means na similar yung property ng dalawang material. Katulad sa problem natin ngayon, masasabi natin na yung material sa part na to at dito ay same sila ng modulus of elasticity. And when we said unyielding support, para mas madaling i-define is hindi magkakaroon ng deformation or ng movement dito sa ating support. It carries an actual load P applied as shown. Prove that the reactions are given by R1 is equal to PB over L and R2 is equal to PA over L. So this problem is uh, proving. I-denote natin na L yung total length ng beam. Therefore, L is equal to A plus B. Then next, by taking the free body diagram of this member, take summation forces horizontal is equal to 0. R1 plus R2 minus P is equal to 0. By rewriting this equation, R2 is equal to P minus R1. I-denote natin to as equation 1. Paghiwalayin ko naman yung member na to. Yung member na to, eto yun. At ang nag sa kanya ng force is yung R1. Dito naman, yung member na to, eto yun. At yung nag sa kanya ng force is yung R2. Take note that P is an applied force. Kapag pinaghiwalay natin sila, hindi nalilitaw yung P. Ang lilitaw na dito is yung internal force. Hindi nalilitaw yung P because P is an external force. I-denote natin yung bar na to as bar 1 and this one is bar 2. Since pakaliwa, yung direction ng R1, dapat yung magiging direction ng internal force sa part na to is pakanan para masatisfy niya yung equation of static equilibrium. Dito naman sa bar 2, since pakaliwa yung direction ng R2, dapat yung internal force na nag sa bar 2 ay pakanan para masatisfy yung equation of static equilibrium. Take note that P1 is not equal to P2 because P1 is the internal force of bar 1 and P2 is the internal force of bar 2. Balik tayo sa original figure. Since stated sa problem na unyielding yung support natin or hindi magkakaroon ng movement sa support, due to applied force P, magkakaroon ng deformation yung bar 1 at bar 2. Sabihin natin na yung connection ng bar 1 at bar 2 is nagkaroon ng movement from this point up to this point. Ang magiging deformation ng bar 1 ay elongation at ang magiging deformation ng bar 2 is compression or shortening. Ngayon, dahil walang movement tayo makikita sa member natin, masasabi natin na yung elongation ng bar 1 at yung shortening ng bar 2 ay equal. Yung elongation sa bar 1 is same lang din ng shortening sa bar 2. The deformation at bar 1 is equal to the deformation at bar 2. Since stated sa problem na homogeneous yung rod at constant yung kanyang cross-section, therefore, AE1 is equal to AE2. Kaya from this equation, pwede na natin i-cancel yung AE sa magkabilang term ng ating equation. At ang matitira na lang is P1L1 is equal to P2L2. Going back to this figure, by taking summation forces horizontal is equal to 0, we can say that P1 is also equal to R1 and P2 is also equal to R2. P1 is also equal to R1, L1 is yung length ng bar 1, that was A, P2 is also equal to R2, and L2 is the length of bar 2, which is equal to B. Then, ang magiging equation natin is R1A is equal to R2B. From this equation, i-substitute lang natin yung value ng R2 na na-obtain natin sa equation 1. R1A, eto yun. R2, ang value ng R2 is P minus R1, eto yun, then multiplied by B. By simplifying this equation, Ang makukuha natin equation is R1 multiplied by A plus B is equal to PB. But what is value of A plus B? A plus B is equal to L. Therefore, R1 is equal to PB over L. Using this equation, o kaya ito, pwede natin itong gamitin para makuha yung value ng R2. Pero gamitin ko na lang yung equation na to. The value of R1 is equal to PB over L multiplied by A is equal to R2B. To since common yung B sa magkabilang equation, makakancel na ngayon yung value ng B. And the value of R2 is equal to PA over L. Pwede nyo lang magamit yung formula na to kapag constant yung cross-section, same sila ng modulus of elasticity, at walang movement sa support. 
Problem number 244. A homogeneous bar with a cross-sectional area of 500 mm squared is attached to rigid supports. It carries the axial loads P1 is equal to 25 kN and P2 is equal to 50 kN applied as shown in the figure. Determine the stress in segment BC. Para sa problem na to, magagamit natin yung concept and yung formula na na-derive natin sa previous problem. Para may apply yung formula na to ng R1 at R2 na na-derive natin sa previous problem, dito sa bar na given sa problem na to, hati natin yung bar na to na kung saan isa-isang force lang muna yung nag a Para dito sa figure na to, force P1 lang muna yung nag a at para naman sa bar na to, yung force P2 lang muna yung nag a Tawagin ko na yung reaction na to due to P1 is RA1 at dito naman ay RD1. At para dito naman, tawagin ko to na RA2 due to P2 at ito naman ay RD2. And RA1 plus RA2 is equal to RA and RD1 plus RD2 is equal to RD. Magagamit na natin ngayon yung formula na to On this figure, solving for the value of RA1, RA is equal to PB over L, P1 is equal to 25 kN, B is equal to 2.1 meters, and L is the total length, 2.70. Then the value of RA1 is equal to 19.44 kN. Para naman sa RA2, gagamitin lang natin ulit yung formula na PB over L, P is equal to P2, 50 kN, B is equal to 0.90 meters, and total length is 2.70 meters. Then the value of RA2 is equal to 16.67 kN. Mamaya malalaman nyo kung bakit hindi ko na sinolve yung value ng RD1 at RD2. Dahil ang hinahanap sa problem na to is yung stress ng segment BC, kailangan natin makuha yung internal force na nag a sa segment BC. Ikakat lang natin yung bar sa segment BC para mapalitaw yung internal force sa segment BC. Kapag kinat natin yung bar sa segment BC, pwede natin i-take either left side or right side segment ng bar. That's the reason kung bakit RA lang yung kinuha ko kasi RA lang yung gagamitin ko na value sa analysis. By taking the left segment of the bar, ang mga forces na nag sa kanya is yung RA equal yan sa RA1 plus RA2, pinag-add ko na, 36.11 kN. P1, ito yung applied force. Take note, kapag kinat natin yung bar sa segment BC, is kasama yung applied force kasi hindi naman natin siya hinati dito sa point B. Pero dahil hinati natin siya sa segment BC, lilitaw ngayon yung internal force ng segment BC. Tawagin natin yan na PBC. By taking summation forces vertical is equal to 0, RA is equal to P1 plus PBC. Or lahat ng pakaliwa is equal sa lahat ng pakanan. By simply substituting the values, RA is equal to 36.11 is equal to P1, 25 kN, plus PBC unknown, Masasolve na natin ngayon yung value ng PBC, 11.11 kN. Para masolve yung stress sa segment BC, equal lang yan sa PBC over A. PBC is equal to 11.11 kN, ginawa kong newton over area 500 mm squared. Para yung magiging unit ng stress is in terms sa megapascal. Then the value of stress on segment BC is equal to 22.22 .22 newton per millimeter squared or megapascal.